guys, this is your boy Vinci bringing you guys yet another awesome video, but I am so excited to bring this to you today because we have Streets of Rage 4, baby! <laughs> and I've been waiting for this game for an extremely long time, and I must say, I already live streamed it, but dudes, I just have to share this for those of you that don't follow me on Twitch. You have to see this game for yourself. If you never played Streets of Rage, I highly recommend that you do. And not only that, get that Streets of Rage 4. I'm preaching the Streets of Rage 4 gospel my boy especially if you're in the beat-em-ups i'm telling you this is definitely gonna be the best beat-em-up big time final fight forget final fight final fight is dead last because we got this bad boy right here streets of rage for let's freaking go boy i'm telling you this game is too clean too clean forget about final fight man Shout out to Dotimu, Lizard Cube, and Guard Crush for bringing this game to yours truly. This game is absolutely amazing. I mean, wow. Look at the graphics. Beautiful graphics. And not only that, the game, the gameplay is so, so good, man. Look how they added juggles in this game. Look at that! Look at that! That's just crazy! Look at that! <laughs> Look at that! Now, oh my god, dude. I mean, there's too much to say about this game. Like, if you have not played this game, I highly recommend it. Like, for real. Look at, look at, look at how that works. Oh my god, it's just the quality, dude. I know I'm wilding out, but dude, this game's really good. And every character plays completely different. It's like they all have their own play style, right? Now I'm kind of distracted right now. Look at that. Look at, dude, stop. Just stop yourself right now. And the animation, holy crap, dude. They did their thing, dude. <laughs> you stop that! Anyway. Wow. They know they try hard with them knives, man. Let me take this knife and throw it at somebody. Take it! Oh. Now, the nice thing about it, you can actually combo even after, like, never jump against this dude. Never jump against this guy, man. Like, he will just anti-air you like crazy. This is like, this is Street Fighter V, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> so good. Nope, what you thought? What you thought? Oh, What? Oh my god. Now... Oh my goodness, and everything about the game, just look at the quality, right? Look at the puddle. See how you see, like, reflections in the puddle? Ugh, too clean, man. The environments looks really cool. I mean, like, the environments are alive. I love the color. I feel like the color is one of the things that really shines in this game. Look at that! You can combo off of a wall bounce? I mean, there's many things you can do. What are you trying? You, what? Like, look at this dude. Run up! Come on, run up! Nope. Nope. That is <laughs> so crazy! Bam! I mean, like, dude, you got to get this. You've got to. You, you're not doing, you do yourself a favor, ow, do yourself a favor and get this game, dude, get this game, I cannot say it enough, I mean, dude, best beat em up ever, bam, 
And then, look how they even added references from Streets of Rage 3, right? Where you actually have, like, uh... You actually have, like, weapons special. Look at that! <laughs> right into it, dude! Come on! It's, like, too good. Oh, wow, that's kind of cool. I didn't know you could do that. Headbutt hype. Look at that sickness! Woo! Look at it, boy! Look at it! So OP. So OP good, man. So you're gonna see a lot of gameplay for me when it comes to Streets of Rage. I'm not even kidding. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. So much goodness to this game. I know I know I'm fanboying about this game. I thought I could catch him with that. I guess not. I guess not. But boys, look in the references. Yes. Listen, take the knife. Come on, get closer. I know you wanna. I know you wanna. Oh yeah, Axel can't run, so it's gonna be harder to like run up on him. He's done. But man. And then you references, look at that. That jackpot club, I guess yeah, jackpot cafe. I'm what is does that say jackpot? That says Pine Pot, bro. Right? What the heck am I saying? Like, that's definitely a reference from Streets of Rage 2, because that was one of the venues that was in the background, so... You def- Oh! Oh my goodness, dude. Come on, bring it! Bring the cheese! Oh, yeah, wait. Ooh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now, the thing is, if- Oh, see, I'm kind of messed up, because I can get my green health back. If I um, stay on the offensive, so I'll show. So I got the green, right? Now I want to avoid getting hit. See how I got my green health back? So it's almost just like that risk reward. So you can actually use. You can actually use your moves as much as you want. But you want to get your health back by staying on the offensive. So that's pretty darn cool. So they definitely kept that risk reward factor kind of thing, but improved on it. Cause in Streets of Rage 2, once you use your special, you lose that health. You can't earn it back. That right there, in case I didn't say it already, which I'm sure I did as a throwback to Streets of Rage 3. Because like, there are specific weapons that work better um for every character for example axel he doesn't the knife he doesn't have any special functions with the knife but if you had a character like blaze or something like that then she would actually have a special move if you tap forward twice and hit the attack button this time i'm taking your knife this matter and the environmental hazards is back, which is really good. I don't know why that dude- that dude's funny. Cause like, how you gonna fight with your hands in your pocket? That's the easiest way to get your butt kicked. Alright. I still can't get over it. How on earth is that functional? Where they can actually hit someone with a knife like that. Bam! Um, I'm gonna get shot now. Now, the interesting thing is, he does have a, um, a, what are you trying to do? Uh-oh, nope, you're not doing that. Look at that, dude. Combos everywhere. I love that. So, there's variety in how you attack, which is really cool with this game. It's like, oh my goodness, dude. But the quality is just A1 steak sauce, man. 
you have to do yourself a favor and get this game. I know I'm spamming that I'm spamming that statement way too much, but this game is just too freaking clean, dude. And then not only that, I like how they gave Axel like a quarantine beard, bro. <laughs> so good, man. I don't know if that was like a reference to Chuck Norris or what, but I, I don't know. But it's awesome. Now these stars that you collect, like those are actually some uh, power, powerful specials. Well, they're not necessarily all that powerful against bosses. This girl in her armor, bro. Um, but like the thing is, you get invisibility, you get free damage, and then on top of that, you could like combo it in like that, right? And then she come down, bam, and you could do something like that. Doesn't do much damage though. Dang, this girl. All right. Oh crap. She charging it up. You better like what? Yep. Yeah, you would help. What? 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 Let her move. You hurt your friends. Oh crap. Bruh. And see, you saw how I recovered? Now that's a new one. Nope. Stop that. See, that actually cancels that out. So that's actually pretty doggone useful if you're in a jam. Or you feel like, oh, they got an armor move. I want to stop the armor move. That's how you do it. But the thing is, you do sacrifice a uh, bonus, a uh, bonus score when you use that. And one thing you definitely want to make good use of when you play this game, which is something that I do not do, if you have the opportunity, ah, use the grab. Use the grab. Because, like, the grab gives you invisibility. So, if you're caught up in a nasty spot, you can use that. Oh, crap. Take that. I'm going to sneak up. Oh, come on, it's just you and me, baby. <laughs> That's so sick! Look at that finish! Epic finish! That's what I was looking for. Oh, smexy game, dude. Smexy, smexy, smexy game. Smexy, smexy, smexy game. I'm like, dude, the game is too good. See, now I've got a C rank on that one. I could have got a better score if I didn't use all of those stars, because the stars give you bonuses, but style points was is what I was looking for with this game. Man. So, you want to see more videos of me playing this game, so definitely look forward to that. One of the things that I wanted to do with, with uh, making videos, now I want to make videos worth making like videos that I want to make, not just do playthrough after playthrough after playthrough. Of course, this is a playthrough, but this is a playthrough of a game that I'm really passionate about. Yes, I'm really passionate about Final Fantasy VII as well. I definitely wanted to do a playthrough of that, but honestly, like, I wasn't enjoying the game by forcing myself to do videos for Final Fantasy VII the Remake. So more than likely, I will more than likely continue the playthrough of Final Fantasy 7 later, but I'm going to do that after I beat the game because I just want to enjoy it for what it is first. Then do a playthrough when I feel like it. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, I look forward to seeing you guys next time. If you want to see more, remember to hit that like button comment and subscribe and i'll definitely see you guys later peace and god bless guys i'm out